Hello there, this is Ron Wills coming back at you with yet another podcast. Women find different types of men attractive. Now, you know, I always talk about the body game and everything, but when I talk about the body game, it's not a specific type of built body or anything like that, right? It might seem like it when I'm saying go to the gym and everything. No, the body game... When I'm talking body game, that just means women are turned on by bodies, period. Thing is, it's different types of bodies and also different types of faces because, you know, it, you get a lot of people, especially uh, some folks in the black pill community, right? Like one part I agree with them, um, yeah, looks matter to women. But the thing I uh, disagree with is not an objective look. You know, it's not always that square-jawed, hunter-eyed type of guy. Not always. Women like looks, but they like different types of looks. They like different types of body builds. They like different types of style, you know? You know, you get some women, like, let's talk about that style piece, like the clothing you wear, how you cut your hair, if you got tats and that, whatever. Shoot, you could have, like, those uh, big things people put in their ears and stuff. I don't even know what it's called because I don't deal with it, right? You know, might like a guy with his nose pierced or something. You know, different types of things. All right? That's the reality. All women don't like to say there's no universal standard. People try to say there is. You know, and you do have some people who, because of their look, might appeal to a great number of people. But then, you know, some men that have a certain look. But then those same men won't appeal to everybody. If you look at... You know, we've been talking about Boris Kujo, uh, Kojo, rather, Ko- Kojo, you know. We've been talking about Boris K- uh, Kojo. Yes, he's very attractive to scores of, you know, women around the world. But I guarantee there's some women look at him like, ooh, you know, Idris Elba, Brad Pitt, whoever you want to name. Somebody looking at him like, hey, whatever. And then, um, you know, my woman's channel last week, I asked about ugly hot men. How do women feel about them? Sometimes a guy could be facially challenged to a woman, but she going crazy. In fact, I knew this one woman, and she was fine as hell. I mean, I saw her put women, men into trance, some women too. But I seen her put men into a trance because she was just so physically beautiful, and her body was, bam, good Lord. She she was afraid. I, let's put it like this. I see her and stuff. And she was one time she said to me, hey, Ron, why you always want a hug? Because <laughs> she was fine as shit. Good Lord. One dude saw her and made up a poem on the spot. So you got this woman this gorgeous, this sexy. By her own admission, she only liked ugly men. And she was married. I remember she showed her husband. Her husband showed up in this social circle we were in and she was like, yeah, he ugly, but I like him. Other women called him ugly, too. But that's what she liked. You know, that's what was attractive to her. Yeah, she, but because some women like ugly. You know, and that's one thing men had to realize. See, one thing I'm, I'm seeing with a lot of men. Well, two things, two things. One, they uh, judge their own looks. And they'll say, well, I don't have that square jaw. I don't have this. And I'm like, okay, you got what you got. You giving lemons, make some lemonade. Make a lemon meringue pie. Shoot, make some lemon ice cream. I don't know, you can do something, just do what you got. Don't worry about it. That's your look. You know, yeah, you can do the body game and lose some weight off it. There's some changes. I got a video uh, video or podcast coming this week, one or the other, this week when I talk about that change in your face, all right? Oh, do I? Hold on, because I got my stuff listed. Let me see. Um, Yeah. I don't know. I might do something like that. But anyway, right? Uh, Got my little notes here. But no, though. But seriously, guys be like sitting back and they be like, I don't look like this dude and feeling all bad. I'm like, okay, you don't. You look like you. Own that shit. Own that shit and just work it, right? Or they try to judge another man's looks, which, you know, I question that. 
right? They don't sit up there and say, he ain't going to get nobody. He don't look like anything. And usually they judging that against uh, some other man's looks. In fact, you'll get, you actually get like some channels right here on YouTube where they'll have guys who will do that. They big on doing that in the incel community, judging a man's looks. Like some guys come into these guys and say, well, where do I rate? I'm like, first of all, man, can I judge another man's looks? Unless he gay and looking for another man. If a heterosexual man cannot tell another man how women will judge his looks, regardless of what you think, regardless of what you might think, all right? Because you don't know what a woman, a particular woman, is looking at. And plus, when women looking at a man, they ain't just looking with their eyes. They feeling with their vaginas, all right? So you don't know. So, and here's the thing. Don't worry about the other man. Women got different types, different styles, anything. Or like, oh, let me go back to the body game since I'm known for it, right? And I mentioned this before. Shout out Cousin t He did something on his Patreon about five types of uh, bodies that turn on women. And even then, even with what he did, I've met women outside. I've met women outside of those body types who went for men who were outside of those body types. I've, I've actually met them. They like their preference would then fall in those main five. Those those were like a solid five of them, a solid five. And I say, hey, if you in there, boom. And even these, these were different types. These weren't the same. They they were they were different types of body builds. They were in the same general general range but it's different you know you could be a dude who's a little bit more solid stocky and driving women crazy right and then you could also be a dude who real slim and driving women crazy every woman likes some if you got some women they they prefer an ectomorph you got some women who prefer a mesomorph you got some women who prefer 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 endomorph in fact uh, i remember on ig I so saw this big, big, tall, stocky guy. Hey, this little petite woman. She, I could tell from her body language, she was totally in tune. That happens. That happens. So what a man has to do, don't worry about the next man. Don't worry about him. You, you can't do anything about it or that you don't look like the next man. You look like yourself. Every man should be, when I talk body game, the best version of your body. Your body. Right, and there's actually some deep metaphysics in there. Maybe I, I think I did. I did talk about it on my Deep Thought channel. I gotta find the video again. You know, if you over there on Deep Thought, just uh, do some searches, go through my archives, right? But you know, if you got a certain body, if you in your best version, what's what's that going to do? Like whatever your best face, your best uh, body. You know, best style that you can have for yourself. What it'll do, it will have a natural tendency, a natural tendency to draw. Let me say that very clearly to draw a woman who is likely compatible with you. Because, first of all, she's turned on by you, she's turned on by whatever you're presenting. Some women are turned on by that slim dude, what he's presenting. And then other women are turned on by a big old dude and what he's presenting. You know? This is what I mean when I tell men to find their tribe. It's simply find the women naturally attracted to you. In fact, there was a woman player. This was a woman player. She was on YouTube. She, she got rid of her stuff. I can't remember her exact name. But she, uh, you know, she deleted her channel. She stopped posting. And she even talked about that. She was like, you know, the smart man, the player, he only deals with the women naturally attracted to him. Naturally. That's his tribe. So understand that. So understand that. Don't think they all find, I don't care who they go for publicly. Yes, there's going to be some men because of their, you know, looks, body build, style, maybe wealth status, all everything else that's going to uh, like attract a large number of women, right? But you ain't worried about that, cause trust me, there's some issues there when you get a large amount of women. 
focus on getting your best self and then paying attention to the women who find you naturally attractive. That's the key. Ain't no magic to it or anything. Because understand something, if a woman naturally attracted to you, that means she's naturally turned on by you sexually. Boom. It's almost, it's like a layup. It's like a softball to you. It's, it, it, it's in you in position for it. it's, um, you, the position you in, you can only blow it. But that's another conversation. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.